Blood levels of lead negatively impact many organ systems, including the brain, cardiovascular, kidney, liver, bone, and reproductive organs. In addition, relatively high blood levels of lead are associated with an older biological age and an increased all-cause mortality risk. And we covered some of that story in last week's video, where we looked at which biomarkers are associated with an older biological age. And that's when looking at the panel of biomarkers shown here. So to the far right, we can see blood levels of lead. More specifically, for a one standard deviation increase for blood lead levels relative to the average level in this study, that was significantly associated with a close to five year older biological age. In addition, that finding was in the same ballpark as other classic markers that are associated with an older biological age, including glucose and HbA1c levels. In addition, relatively higher lead levels are also associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. And that's what we'll see here with data for women and for men. And note that this is a relatively large study, which included almost 26,000 people. So on the x-axis, we've got all-cause mortality risk, risk of death for all causes, and then on the y-axis, we've got metal levels. And I didn't just include data for lead, which is PB, the chemical symbol for lead is PB, but also cadmium and mercury for comparison. So what we can see is that in terms of what's significant, we put up a red line at a hazard ratio of one. Remember where the 95% confidence interval, when that's the horizontal line to the left and right of the squares, the black squares, when that's completely to the right of one, or completely to the left of one, we have a significant association. So we can see that for lead, that this is a significant association for both women and men. In other words, relatively higher blood levels of lead are associated with a 48% increased risk of death for all causes in women and a 22% increased risk in men. But interestingly, and this is potentially a story for another video, we can also see that's true for cadmium levels. As relatively higher blood levels of cadmium are associated with a 28% higher risk of death for all causes in women and a 39% risk of uh, death from all causes in men. All right, so what about mercury? There's a lot of concern about eating fish as fish can contain mercury and we don't wanna have relatively high levels of mercury in our blood because it may be bad for health. At least in this study, and I haven't done a deep dive to see how blood mercury levels associate with all cause mortality risk in other studies, but in this study, we can see that it's 95% confidence interval, again, the horizontal line to the left and right of the black squares. They completely overlap with one in both women and men. So the association for mercury with all cause mortality risk is not significantly associated uh, either in women or men with blood levels of mercury. Now it's important to note that this study had a relatively young cohort that was 46 years old, an average age of 46, that had a seven year median follow-up, follow -up, which is relatively short. So what about looking at the association for lead with all cause mortality risk in studies that had a longer follow-up? And that's what we'll see in this study, which had people of about the same age, 44 years. It's relatively large, more than 14,000 people. But this time, we've got a median 19-year follow-up. On the y-axis, we've got the hazard ratio. So that's the risk of death for all causes. And in parentheses, you see it says 95% CI. That's the 95% confidence interval. In this case, that's the shaded gray region on the plot. So if that's completely above a hazard ratio of one, we have a significant association. So on the x-axis, we've got the concentration of lead in blood. And in terms of what's significant, we put up that red line at the hazard ratio of one. And we can see that lowest all-cause mortality risk is associated with blood lead levels of 0.8 micrograms per deciliter. And then for all values higher than that, there was a significantly increased risk of death for all causes. So in terms of what's optimal for blood lead levels, it would appear that less than 0.8 micrograms per deciliter is the target. So the good news is we don't have to just follow studies in other people and hope that we have relatively low levels of lead in our blood. They can be quantified. So at this point in videos like this, I generally ask, what's my data? So I haven't measured it yet. That's on the to-do list, on the plan, on the test plan list for blood test number six in 2024, which I've scheduled for September 3rd of this year. Now, for all of the tests in 2024, I've been using Ulta lab tests. So I don't go to my physician to have tests done as that's generally been a headache and I've got to basically beg them to do this test or that test. Problem solved. 
So when, when I use this website, Ulta Lab Test, which uses Quest Diagnostics, I can order exactly the tests that I want. I bring them to the lab, in this case, which is Quest. I pay a $10 blood draw fee, and then I get the results relatively quickly. For blood test number five, I got uh, most of the results within one business day. So if you wanna help support the channel, there's an affiliate link. I've got it uh, posted here, but I'll also put that in the video's description. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links that you may be interested in, including discount links for epigenetic testing, NED quantification, oral microbiome composition, at-home uh, blood testing, including metabolomics, which includes more than 600 metabolites, at-home blood testing with CyFox Health, which includes ApoB, but also uh, the DNA epigenetic test Grimage, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Die Trying brand, as I've got on here and as I wear all the time, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.